Leo, and welcome to your August 2022 reading. We are in Lion's Gate energy um, and Leo energy. Happy birthday to you. Don't forget to do your 10 wishes. Write down 10 wishes. And, uh, you know, people always think it's only one, but no, it's 10. You actually have 10 wishes that you get to wish for. With the, So write them down on a piece of paper and say to God, to the universe, whatever you want to say. But make sure you put your wishes down this month. Um we have uh, lots of serious energy happening with the lion's gate that's opening up. I go over that video. Uh, at the end of this video, there will be a link to that video that you can just click on. But um, I go over the whole lion's gate stuff and how you can utilize that energy for... And you're lucky, you know, lion's gate is always going to be around your birthday, the birthday month. So that's really cool. At the end of this month, we do have a Mercury retrograde uh, shadow period. So it's going to be starting, but it'll actually be in September. So lucky for you, it's not during your birthday. We have more relaxed energy, but we do have stuff going on. So I'm just going to throw down some cards today. What I'm going to do is read them and then I'll put them up for you. Uh, this is a general reading and will not resonate with every single person. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check out your other signs in your astrology chart, like your sun, moon, and rising signs. Uh, you can reverse the energies and assign the roles as you please. You can take the things that resonate with you and leave everything else behind. Um, you can come back to this video multiple times because maybe it's not resonating right now, but it might later in the month. Uh, because we're all on different timelines, and so we're all going to be uh, feeling the energy at different times. And um, otherwise, you can get a personal reading for me in the description box down below. In this description box down below is my website, and uh, we can we can put that together. I just want to say thank you so much for waiting for me to do this video. I appreciate you still hanging on. <laughs> Keep me hanging on. <laughs> all right, let's go, Leo. Let's see what's going on. So we have, okay, this is very similar to the energy I was just reading for Virgo a second ago. You got you have some of the same cards, but they're just, they're just kind of um, mixed up a little bit differently. See, because we swim in the same energy, it's just how it is portrayed and the perception of Leo is going to be a little bit different um, because the personality of Leo is completely different as well. So uh, that, that will, that's why. But anyway, so we do have... Um, so there's some repressed emotions that you're going to be looking at. Your intuition is bringing them to the forefront for you. Uh, you're going to feel pretty stuck in some ways on purpose because this is how we're going to be able to release these uh, emotional aspects that you've been dealing with for a while and what's been holding you back in your relationships. So we have the strength card as well upside down, um, which means... It's going to take a lot of inner strength for you to do this. You might doubt yourself a lot. You might have some low energy or you just might be full of raw emotions. So don't be surprised this month if you just like start crying. <laughs> no, not during a birthday month. You got all these upside down cards. So it's like looking at your life and seeing where you uh, might have made the not the best choices uh, where you didn't have courage and determination, you didn't follow your passion, you let it kind of like pass you by and that is, is it's bothering you. You know, you feel like you missed out on the world because of that. Oh, well, at least we're going to get rid of this for your birthday. You know what I mean? Like at least we, uh, we won't have to deal with this too much. If we take a look at it now and we work with those repressed emotions, then maybe we won't have to deal with it for... Um, those the happy day right but I do feel like you've been looking maybe you've been looking at Facebook or some sort of social media and you've been looking at like your past loves and being like oh my gosh I probably should have told them that I was in love with them or something like that and doesn't that doesn't necessarily have to be everybody but um, that definitely is some of you though uh, there's some looking at uh, your past choices for sure um, okay so we have the three of pentacles, which is there's going to be some collaboration in this between you and your angels and guides between um, people, the guides speaking through other people to enlighten you to go, oh, maybe I need to look at that. You know, you're going to get a lot of aha moments, I think, from uh, other people's um, collaboration or just working with other people or just talking to other people. So make sure you're talking to people this month because I think that you're going to be able to get a lot of answers just from these conversations. Because maybe if you're not listening to your intuition, then what will happen is God will speak through other people. And, uh, you know, I know that you've had those types of moments in your life where you've been talking to someone and you're like, how did they know? 
that I needed that answer? How did they know to say it in that way? Or it just like hits you in the heart and you're like, oh my gosh, yes. So you have the King of Pentacles as well is, um, it's one of my favorite kings. It's a great energy to have. It means that your mas masculinity, especially around um, your business discipline, your leadership, your abundance, like, you know, just because you're feeling emotionally raw doesn't mean that you don't have abundance this month. You do. There could be abundance all around you. And I feel like the masculine part is is in a good, strong, happy, stable place right now. It's the emotional aspect that is kind of coming up. Um, the insecurities, the, uh, the feeling like you're dependent on others instead of being so strong within yourself. And that's just releasing a lot of this, uh, these emotional uh, things, you know, that are, are bothering you. Um, you could have somebody near you who's trying to take credit for things that you've done in your life, and that could be bothering you as well, okay? Um, we have the missed opportunity because you didn't follow your intuition. And that right there, I'm going to tell you the reason why this is so important this month, I think, is because um, you have to recognize when your intuition was spot on. And you have free will, so you were able to make whatever choices that you wanted to make. And just because you may have not made the, the choice that you feel is the right choice now, um, doesn't mean that it, I mean, it, it doesn't mean that it was a bad thing because what it does mean is that your intuition was, was spot on, like knew exactly what it was, it was that you wanted. And now it's about honing that intuition and making sure that as you move forward through your lifetime, that you actually listen to your intuition this time, that if they say you need to tell that person that you love them, then you need to tell them that you love them. There could be a reason. Um, maybe th there were things that you didn't know about some about a relationship uh, that you you were too afraid to like open your mouth about. And so I think that was the thing, you know, that that's kind of been bothering you is I should have said something. And if I would have known what I see now, if I would have known that, then I would have definitely said something. But there was a reason why you didn't know that. And now you can look back and say, wow, my intuition was spot on for that. And even though I didn't listen to what my intuition was saying and and, you know, it will make me more. I, I guess what I'm feeling is like it's going to make you stronger in listening to your intuition because um, you had this opportunity that they were tr like the angels and guides and, you know, your higher self and everything were trying to push you in this direction. Like you'll be so happy if you just go in this direction. And for whatever reason, you decided to say, I just I'm too scared to do that. And so when you did that, um, now you're looking back and being like, oh, my gosh, but don't look back at it with uh, regret. It's it, it's not regret. It should be like, wow you know, how, how awesome it is that I heard my intuition, even though I didn't follow it, like how awesome it was that I was that connected that I actually did hear and feel and see and smell and taste and touch what they were trying to convey to me, you know, cause it's better to have that than to be disconnected. I guess is kind of what I'm hearing. Like there was a connection that you had and that's what you should be grateful for is the connection, no matter what the decision was, because the decisions can always change. Like they can, they can always be like, you can always make that decision today. And you could say, you know, I may have made a, not such a great choice back then, but I wonder if I can at least have it in this way. You know, like for instance, if you didn't tell someone that you wanted to really be with them because you were afraid, then what you could do is you could tell that person today by maybe being a friend and starting the relationship in some way. Cause you know, I really enjoyed being with you. I really enjoyed being your friend. And um, it kind of hurts that we don't have that relationship relationship anymore. And it really did hurt me that we didn't have it. So it's just kind of something for you to look at and to think about. Maybe for your birthday, you can give yourself a gift by going to that energy or that person or that thing, what it could be a thing. Like maybe you didn't go for your, a specific degree that you wanted to go for. You know, you gave something up uh, because of fear 
And so maybe you can go back to that thing that you feared and say, you know what, I'm not going to fear it anymore. Like, I really want to do this. This is something that I know that I can do. Um, and I feel really happy when I'm doing this thing or I'm with this person. And so I feel like I really want to be a part of that, that person's life, or I really want that to be a part of my life and like that. Okay. Let's see what else we can get. That was very interesting. Man, Leo's, I swear, these are always the longest videos. Like everybody else's comes out pretty easy. <laughs> and then I get to Leo or I get to like Pam. Answer. I get to like Gemini and it's like wow it takes me a while sometimes but let's see what else we can get okay it is your birthday month so it's your birthday go on a party like a party like it's your birthday anyway whatever <laughs> all right so yeah this is definitely something that um your young years your younger years that you really wanted um and you're, you're, you're wanting to have like a completion or you're wanting this destiny that you may have missed out on because you got like logical or there was some reason that you weren't living really in your love for it. And so I think, yeah, let's see. Yeah, you're, you're trying to manifest it now because, you know, you, you've probably thought long and hard about this and how much grief it has brought you. And maybe you've been dreaming about it. Maybe you've been um, trying to uh, figure out how you can make this a part of your life because I see, like, there's a want, there's a desire, there's a manifestation. Uh, and it's like accepting it and moving on and finding peace with it whether you go towards it or not, I believe that you will find some sort of peace. It seems to me like if you go towards it, then um, you'll realize the gift that you've always had was always there. Um, it's just you were the one not, you were the one with your, your arms folded and you're closed and protecting yourself instead of saying, you know what? Um, I want this in my life. I want you in my life. Uh, doesn't matter how, I just want this to be a part of my life in some way. See the guy holding his, he's not even looking at the gift that God gave him. God gave you this gift and it closing your arms and being like, nope, I don't want to see it looking down. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see that gift. Well, it was probably one of the best gifts that God ever gave you. So why would you turn away from it? You know what I mean? Go for it. Go, go to it. Um, it's interesting because I was thinking about how, and I brought up degree because when I wanted, I, I wanted to get my business degree early on, but I was, I didn't think I could pass the GRE and I just didn't feel like I was smart enough to, to do a business degree. Um, although I had had signs in my life, multiple signs that, that God was showing me, you'd be really good in this if you just did it. But I was like, no, you know. I, I, I had a lot of abuse as a child, so it was really difficult for me to, to really even come to terms with that. So um, I would continue to turn away. So my first degree I got in, in computers, and my second degree I got in um, music. The third degree that I got, uh, as I would, so my associates in computers, my, my bachelor's in music, and then, and then it was when I went, was gonna get my master's, I was like, oh, I'll get my master's in business. And then I, didn't, I was too afraid. I, was, I didn't think I could do it. So I got my master's in leadership instead, like educational leadership, which isn't a bad master's, but it's not in line with the jobs that I wanted to get or that I feel like I could do really well in, right? And so basically it just kept coming around, coming around, coming around until I finally accepted it this time. Okay, I'll do it. And I'm gonna tell you, I have like straight A's in it. And it's like, it's, I won't say that it's easy, but I can tell you that it's in my skill set that I do. Uh, it is something that I feel, and that's kind of what I was saying. You know, it's like, and and I'm I'm happy when I do it. So think about that. It's something I ran away from for a long time, until I finally said, you know what, I'm I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do it, and it's it hasn't been too crazy. I mean, it's been a lot of work. Don't get me wrong, but it hasn't been like, um it's not it's not not that big of a deal okay so let's see we have the ace of swords is mental clarity coming through breakthrough success new ideas um and you have the the six of swords which is um 
this is all about your personal transition. Whatever you were resistant to, this is where God's trying to push you towards. You need to go towards the resistance. Stop being afraid. Stop being scared. It's not about that. It's about your happiness. So those places that you've had lack of faith, despair, um, lack of trust within yourself, and you've just felt very like, that I just can't do that because of negative self-talk, you'll have your justice. This is your justice. This is the month for you to get justice. So I'm glad I went a little bit further and read into that a little bit more because there we go. We ended with justice. So it's whatever you felt like, I'm not good enough for that. I'm not good enough for that person. I'm not good enough for that job. I'm not good enough for um, that degree. I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. I don't have enough money. Whatever it is that you've been spewing all of that negativity, you're about to get your justice with it. Okay? And I can't wait to see how that's going to transpire. Um, I do want to check out where you're at in your love in case this is a love situation for some of you. And happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay, Leo. All right. So we have some belief systems that are getting in the way. Um, and it's it's time for you to stop retreating and living in the clouds and living in the in the background. Um, and you have reconciliation um, on the horizon. Someone from the past has already returned into your life. It's how do you want them to be in your life because you deserve this love that God has been trying to um, to give you. And although you might not be able to flirt with this person, you can definitely start as friends. Okay, there's nothing wrong with being someone's friend um, and just being there for someone that you love and that's someone that you really adore and that you really like. You never know where that's going to go. Okay, life is always changing. Things are always changing in life. And uh, you just never know. Okay, let's one, one more set of cards and then I'm going to close this video out. But I just want to see where you're at in the messages of love. Like where where is this in the cycle that you're dealing with? I mean, I can obviously see that it's whatever you feared. The best thing to do is to communicate. Okay? So this is not new love. And this will give you all the abundance that you're looking for. Because here's the thing I'm hearing. If you don't have money... Well, money comes from happiness. It's not the other way around. You don't get happy because you have money. Yes, you can, but it doesn't last. What happens is, is you have to have the vibration of happiness in order to attract more money into your life. So the more you can bring the happiness, this new, this, this old love, this, this love from the past uh, brings you abundance just because it makes you feel so good inside. And so everything else will start to um, get better. Uh uh, this is how you take care of yourself. You know, you have not uh, followed your intuition. Now is the time. And so because of that, you have regret. You have regret because you didn't follow your intuition. Um, and uh, there's this longing on both sides where there needs to be forgiveness. And it's about being, it's about here and now in the present. Okay. It's the present um, uh, energy of getting your happiness on so that you can get all the things that you want in life just by being around this person, this thing, this whatever, that brings you so much joy that um, it will open up so many other doors in your life. Okay, Leo, I hope you like this reading or entertained in some way. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. On the screen is the August 8th uh, Lion's Gate video, if you haven't seen it yet. And you can come back to these videos multiple times throughout the month. Okay, bye. I'll see you soon. Bye.